In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a manual bar chart slide design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I have created kind of a platform where the bars will come and uh, display the information. So when I click, the first bar comes, which is I have created kind of a timeline where I have added the year 1995, the title, the detailed text, along with the icon, and I have added some shadow effect at the background. And then when I click, it will show me the next year. We can see here how we are progressing from 1995 to 2000 and then comes with a different color 2005 and 2015 and then 2025 and the journey continues. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light gray color background. Then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the oval shape. Just click it here. And then I'm going to make the height and width as 1.5. And I'm going to shape fill. I'm going to fill the color with uh, white and then right mouse click go to the format shape and here i'm going to the effects under the effects go to the 3d rotation and from the presets i'm going to choose which is the off axis one top okay just select this one and then i'm going to duplicate this four times so press ctrl d this is my second ctrl d and ctrl d so four times i'm going to use it uh, why I'm going to make it four times duplicate, I will tell you, just uh, bear with me. So let me just go to the first, very first one, shape outline, I'm going to make it no outline. And shape fill, I'm going to fill this with orange uh, color. And then I'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 only. Alright, and then I'm going to put it exactly in the center of this one. Alright, and for this color also, I'm going to just make it a orange color. And then I can increase the weight to two quarters all right so now coming to this one i'm going to make shape outline no outline then go to the effects under the 3d format go to the depth and i'm going to make the depth as 200 all right it looks something like this and then go to the contour and i'm going to give the color which is orange so it looks something like this and then the height uh, the size i'm going to make it uh, 2.5 all right and then you have got the material and lighting so the lighting i'm going to choose which is this one contrasting and then the material i'm going to choose which is uh, the uh, clear so it looks something like this you can see here then exactly on top of this and send this to back and i'm going to place it like this and make sure that before doing this one it is group okay this one both i'm going to select and press ctrl g to group it okay so now i'm going to select this one and i'm going to exactly put on top of this all right now coming to this one now this one i'm going to use the same color which i have used for the uh, outline so i'm going to choose the same thing shape outline make it no outline then go to the effects under the 3d format i'm going to give the depth maybe a 20 all right and then i'm going to just place it exactly here and then send this to back all right so it looks something like this so this is my very first option so i'm going to select all these options and i'm going to move it aside then hold the control shift key just make the second one i'm just going to make move this up and this one now we have remember we made it the first is 200 now i'm going to make it maybe 250 all right and then i'm going to just move it on top of this and then bring this down all right and if you want you can just change the color according to your requirement so this color i would like to give a maybe a red color this color i would like to give the contour uh let me just go here and i'm going to give which is the red color here the same color combination and for this also i'm going to give the same color which is the red color you can see here and then the orange point also i'm going to fill this with red color so this is my second one okay 
so now i'm going to select this one hold the control shift key just drag it towards the right now move this aside now this one instead of 250 i'm going to make it a kind of 300 so i'm just giving a uh, some number here so depending on the number uh, requirement you can just change it okay so so this is my second option now i'm going to change this color to a blue maybe so i'm going to give it sorry let me just go to here and go to the contour and then i'm going to give this as blue color this also as a blue color and here also the outline should be blue and inside should be blue all right so you can see here how i'm changing and just put it back now again i'm going to select this hold the control shift key drag this one so let me just make it only four points all right or four bars only so let me just move it somewhat up and this one i'm going to make this as instead of 300 i'm going to make it as 350 and move this up you can see here move this up yeah and then bring this down and before that one you can just give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give a purple and inside also i'm going to give the purple and come here this is also purple and then the contour i'm going to make this as purple as well all right so then i'm just going to bring this down yeah so you can see here the four points are ready so thread all and then just make sure that it is properly aligned in the center all right and then what we can do is i'm just going to add one kind of a table here and before adding the table let me just add one uh shadow effect for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rounded corner rectangle all right make maybe this much size is required shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with black color increase the transparency level maybe 50 to 60 percent and then go to the effects soft edges increase the soft edges you can see here rotate a little bit put it here and send this to back okay so it looks something like this if you want you can make it more transparent and if you want to reduce the height and if you want to make it more tilt you can just make it more tilt as well all right hold the control shift key bring it to the other side here and here as well and make sure all these are sent to back so you can see here the shadow effect also created and one more thing which you can do is you can just group it before you know otherwise it will be difficult for you to do animation so select this one plus the hold the shift key and select the the shadow effect and press ctrl g to group it now i'm going to select the second option and the shadow effect press ctrl g you can see here so now again select this press ctrl g and then the last one press ctrl g okay so this will come send this to back this will send this to back and this also send this to back all right so we have created the shadow effect now let me just create one kind of a table so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a trapezoid draw a small trapezoid reduce the width all right shape outline make it no outline then go to the picture or texture fill so you can see here I have just selected this one okay or anything which you like so maybe this design is good and for this also i'm going to make it a kind of uh, 3d perspective okay so i'm going to just make it which is this one and then give a little bit depth to it so depth you can see here i've added the depth and again how you want more darker or depending on that you can choose and then send this to back so it looks that uh, the bars are are placed on top of the table so it looks something like this all right so once this is done now it's time for us to add the uh, some information so go to insert click on icons so choose any icons depending on the requirement so in this case i'm going to choose 
some random icons so it's taking some time to load so once that is done yeah so let me just choose some random icons this is one two and uh, let me just choose some good icons uh, maybe this guy and then some kind of books or something like that yeah and click insert and then move it aside i'm going to make the graphic fill as white color and then i'm going to make the height as 0.5 which is a smaller one and then bring this one and put it on top of this here you can see here so this is my second option i'm going to place it here my third option which is inside a kind of a test tube you can call it all right and then go to the insert text box i'm going to say title center align make it bold if you want you can just give some dark gray color all right then go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one i don't want large text this much long text i'm going to delete some of it reduce the font size and place it here all right so you can see here now i'm going to select both of these press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key just drag it here move it again hold the ctrl shift key drag it move it on the top again hold the ctrl shift key drag it and move it on the top okay so here make sure that you align it properly and once this is done again i'm going to select all these shapes and press ctrl g to group it so you can see here sorry i have to group it once again press ctrl g to group it i think this is grouped properly so now i'm going to do the same thing here press ctrl g to group it then i'm going to do the same thing here ctrl g and then ctrl g so you can see here i have made all separate uh, options and then you can show some a kind of a progress with the help of an arrow so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this is arc so just draw a arc by holding the shift key and you can see here i'm just going to put it here all right and then reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here still have to reduce it yeah all right in shape outline i'm going to give orange and then the same weight i'm going to give which is two quarters and it looks something like this press ctrl d to duplicate put it on top of this all right again if you want to adjust adjust a little bit give a different color combination you can give a gradient fill as well here again this one i'm going to give this as blue color which is going from here to here all right and press ctrl d one more which is i'm going to give this as a purple reduce the size put it properly here and for this i'm going to the line and then i'm going to give the end arrow type as arrow and the end arrow size is a big one so it looks something like this you can see here and once this is done you can do some basic animation effect something kind of a stretch so go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation i can go to the more entrance effects click stretch or wipe whatever peek in maybe wipe so let me just choose wipe and it looks something like this so like similar animations can be done even for this also you can wipe it and wipe make it from left and that should happen after previous now i can just simply copy and paste it here so if i play it looks something like this okay so whichever animation which uh, you like you can just add the animation effect to this